I've been making work since 1998. I took ceramics on a whim uh, in high school to fulfill a credit obligation and I fell in love with it instantly. I was drawn to the wheel initially and I made a lot of uh, work on the wheel in high school and then in college. I started incorporating molds after that. My process would be a system-based process. I made a few discoveries in, in graduate school. The part of my process that is a little unique is this uh, veneer coloring process where I take porcelain clay, I put color in it, and then pool in concrete. I found a way to color the clay, to pour it on the surface of the plaster mold, and it dries relatively quickly, so I cut it into shapes with a knife, and then peel off a part. And then I can layer another color on top of that, and on top of that, and on top of that. Well, it was wild. In the beginning, no one had really seen work like this. And it was a time, I was maybe just in f ahead of the curve of people starting to work with color or primary color or vibrant color in ceramics. And you know, now it's, if you look on Instagram, color is everywhere and there's sort of a, an aesthetic shift that has happened. What I've started to believe is that Pottery is a type of journalism. Pottery is not an individual thing. Pottery belongs in a museum as much as it belongs in a home because for the entire history of our world, it has expressed culture. The work that I'm making is part of a sort of a voice or a story in this generation. Probably the best feeling I've ever had was going to the Everson Museum and seeing a piece of mine in it because I went to the Everson as a student and saw pieces of everyone's work and that really inspired me to think differently about pottery, to take it more seriously. I went back and back to the museum time and time again. So to see my work in, is, in it made me feel proud that I had made a contribution. It's very exciting for me to make pottery, but to see that it's crossing boundaries or that it's in going in new directions or engaging in new conversations. I do think it comes back to that idea that I want the work to be more accessible. And that doesn't necessarily mean that it needs to be more practical or functional. That just means that it needs to connect in multiple ways in people's minds.